problems. Today we'll see how mathematics can be used in day-to-day -day activities. Come, let's meet Vimal, a brilliant student of 8th standard. Vimal's family consists of an old ailing grandmother, his parents and a younger sister. Three months ago, Vimal's father met with an accident. As a result, he can't work now. And Vimal had to quit school and started working for home. He was suggested by his uncle to run a vegetable cart by borrowing some money from the bank. Vimal gets up early every morning and goes to the wholesale market to buy vegetables. Today Vimal bought potatoes, onions, ginger, garlic, spinach, cauliflower, pumpkin, radish and green chilies. You can see their price according to the wholesale market. After returning home, Vimal prepared a list like this. Kids, can you tell the difference between the two lists? You can pause the video to find out the difference. For example, look at the prices of potato and onion. Yes, Vimal has increased the prices of all the vegetables by 2 rupees. This extra money is Vimal's daily earnings. Oh, let's see. Sharma auntie is buying some vegetables from him. She bought 2 kgs of potatoes, 1 kg of onions, half a kg of radish, half a kg cauliflower and half a kg of ginger. Let's together find out the total price of Sharma auntie's purchase from Vimal. You can pause the video and calculate it with the help of Vimal's list. According to Vimal's list, 1 kg of potato cost rupees 20. So, 2 kgs will cost 2 multiply by 20 means 40. 1 kg onion is 12 rupees. 1 kg radish is 10. So, it is half of it. On adding 5 up to 2 times gives us 10. So, cost of half a kg radish is 5 rupees. Similarly, if 1 kg cauliflower costs 6 rupees, half of it will cost 3 rupees. Now we are left with half a kg ginger, means half the price of 1 kg. You can pause the video and calculate it. 1 kg ginger costs 30 rupees, means half a kg ginger will cost half of 30 rupees. Hmm. On dividing 30 into 2 equal halves, we will get 15. So, half a kg ginger will cost 15 rupees. So, this is the cost of shopping done by Sharma auntie. Now, let's add all this to find out the total price. Kids, you can pause the video to find out the sum. Look, Vimal has already added all the numbers. Is your total is also 75 rupees? Sharma auntie has to give 75 rupees to Vimal. A few notes have been placed in front of you. Let's help Sharma auntie to add the total price. You can use each note only once. You can pause the video to choose the note on your own. Have you guessed the same? Well done! Look, Vimal is giving some green chilies to his aunt for free. You saw Sharma auntie give 75 rupees to Vimal. Can you guess how much profit Vimal has gained? Let's calculate this together. This is the price of the wholesale market. According to this, Sharma auntie should give Rupees 36 for 2 kg potatoes, Rupees 10 for 1 kg onion, Rupees 4 for half a kg radish, Rupees 2 for half a kg cauliflower, and Rupees 14 for half a kg ginger. So the total is 66 rupees. 
According to this, the costing of Sharma Aunty's shopping should be rupees sixty-six. But according to the pricing set by Vimal, Sharma Aunty had to give seventy-five rupees. On subtracting sixty-six from seventy-five, gives nine. So kids, Vimal has gained nine rupees on the purchase made by Sharma Aunty. So today we all have learned how to use mathematics in daily life activities.